paleontologists talk about the age of dinosaurs, they're usually referring to one of three periods in Earth's history, the Triassic, the Jurassic, or the Cretaceous. And right now I'm standing the earliest of that three-part division. This is rock from the end of the Triassic period. Although calling it part of the age of dinosaurs is not exactly wrong, but uh, maybe it overplays their role in Earth's ecosystems just a little bit. So the first dinosaurs that we know of evolved about 245 million years ago, near the beginning of the Triassic. The rock I'm standing in now is about 220 to 205 million years old, so a bit after that. But despite all that time, dinosaurs were still relatively small. I mean, predatory dinosaurs were not much bigger than about the size of a German shepherd or so. There were some plant-eating dinosaurs that got a bit bigger, but they're relatively rare and minor parts of Earth's ecosystems. Now, higher above me is uh, sandstone from the earliest part of the Jurassic. You can see this division between the red rocks and the tan rocks above me. And Jurassic time is when dinosaurs really start to get big. I mean, for, for, for them, uh, this, there's this extinction that occurred at the end of Triassic time. The actual extinction layer isn't preserved above me, but we know that it occurred because the animals that were around were very, very different. So in the Triassic, you have uh, things like croc-like phytosaurs, croc relatives, um, you know, those sorts of critters are running the show. Whereas above that, most of those are gone. Dinosaurs are dominant and start to get really, really big. So even though we often think about dinosaurs in terms of their ultimate extinction at the end of the Cretaceous, the fact is that another extinction at the end of the Triassic, somewhere in between those red and tan layers, allowed them to really come into their own.